The Phantom Express One dark and misty night, Percy was getting ready to collect the mail. He was excited. I'm making my first ever delivery to Ulfstead Castle. That sounds scary to me. But James decided to have some fun with Percy. The Phantom Express might get you. The Phantom Express? Who's that? He's a ghost engine. He puffs around the castle, rattling the rails and blowing his ghostly whistle. Don't listen to him, Percy. He's just teasing you. There's no such thing as ghosts. Yes, there is. You'll see, Percy. Percy was nervous about what James had said, but he chuffed away to collect the mail. Percy was soon puffing toward the castle. I hope I don't meet the Phantom Express. Percy arrived at the castle. He had to wait at the red signal for the drawbridge to come down. Percy's driver unloaded the mail, but Percy was still thinking about what James had said. Hello, Percy! Oh! Oh! Hello, Stephen! I thought you were the Phantom Express. Phantom Express? What's that? He's a ghost engine. He puffs around the castle, rattling the rails, and blowing his ghostly whistle. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as ghosts, Percy. I've never seen one or heard any rattling rails. Ha! Huh, just wait till I tell James. Then James arrived. He was delivering coal for the big castle fires. Have you seen the Phantom Express yet, Percy? Ha! I don't believe your story, James. Stephen says there aren't any ghosts at the castle, and he should know. This made James very cross. That's where you're wrong. I've seen the Phantom Express this very night. He's puffing round the castle rails. Really? Were the rails rattling? <laughs> we don't believe you. What's that noise, then? It sounds just like the ghostly whistle of the Phantom Express. It was only an owl hooting. But even Stephen thought that it sounded just like the Phantom Express. Let's meet up again, Percy, as soon as we've done our jobs. Good idea, Stephen. I'll show them. There's no such thing as ghosts. 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 James blew his whistle. Oh, is that? Could it be? No, it isn't. Yikes! <laughs> scared you. <laughs> Stephen was so scared, he rushed backwards to the castle, so he didn't see that the drawbridge had gone back up. His driver and fireman had to jump clear. <laughs> Stephen had rolled right off the track and fallen into the dry moat. Well, that wasn't very clever now, was it? Meanwhile, Percy had delivered the mail and was puffing back to meet Stephen at the junction. But Stephen wasn't there. Oh no, where's Stephen? Maybe the Phantom's got him. Oh, I hope that's Stephen. But it wasn't Stephen, it was James. Percy heard the sound. Percy was very frightened. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared you! 
Percy was so scared, he raced away without paying any attention to the red signal. Oh. Then there was trouble. Oh. Oh. Hello, Percy. I see you found the meeting place. James wanted to tell Percy and Stephen that it was all a joke. Percy! Stephen! There was so much fog, he couldn't find them anywhere. As he puffed around the misty castle grounds alone, James started to get scared. He even started to believe his own story. Maybe there really is a Phantom Express. <gasps> And maybe it's got Percy and Stephen. James kept looking for Percy and Stephen. But when the drawbridge came down, it hid them. I think somebody must be coming. Maybe we should blow our whistles. <laughs> oh no! It's the Phantom Express. James was so frightened, he raced off as fast as he could. Sir Topham Hatt was at the dairy. Thomas was collecting milk to take to the bakery. Help! It's the Phantom Express! James, what on earth are you talking about? Percy and Stephen are missing. The ghost has got them. Hmm. Sir Topham Hatt knew there were no such things as ghosts, but he wanted to find out where Percy and Stephen had gone. Come on then, James. Let's go on a ghost hunt. As James and Sir Topham Hatt approached the castle, they heard the mysterious whistling. It echoed around the castle walls. See, sir, it's the Phantom! That's not a Phantom, James. Raise the drawbridge. Percy and Stephen, why are you two down there? The Phantom chased us, sir. I heard his ghostly whistle. And I saw him? Puffing through the fog. Oh dear, that wasn't the Phantom. That was me playing a trick on you. I'm sorry. Sir Topham Hatt was not very happy. Soon, Rocky had lifted Percy and Stephen back onto the tracks. James, you have caused confusion and delay. You will deliver Percy's mail every night for a whole month. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Good luck, James. I hope the Phantom doesn't get you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Wait for me! Oh!